Uh, just since yesterday afternoon, the airport just south of Emporia has seen 4.6 inches of rainfall. Uh, that's a lot for any day. That's about average for an entire month, uh, much of the year. But since August the 1st, uh, that same location has only seen 3.4 inches of rain. So just more rain in the last 24 hours than you've had in almost three months in uh, many parts of uh, Lyon County. The east side of Emporia, uh, as much as nine inches of rain. Storm Spot has been reporting that much in this area as well. Redding, seven to nine inches of rain, up to L Linden seeing that much as well. And then zooming out, much less Marysville to Concordia, Clay Center seeing very little or no rain at all. At Topeka with about a half inch so far in most parts of town, but more rain is on the way. Here's the radar capital federal live storm tracker seeing a burst of showers near Oskaloosa up to Hiawatha, but there are more showers to the south that are streaming our way and even more of it backed up down to Oklahoma and Texas uh, that's pushing our way for tonight into tomorrow. Friday's probably dry and then we turn much, much colder. So tonight, mid 60s, flash flooding still a concern, especially for areas that were hard hit with rain last night. Uh, we're talking about Coffee County, Lyon County, Osage County, uh, Douglas County as well. Those would be really the target area for the potential of flash flooding. Use a lot of caution if you're going to be driving, especially after the sun goes down and you can't see what you're driving into and the road could be uh, compromised. So mid 60s with scattered rain expected and then uh, tomorrow 76 degrees. Uh, we'll see scattered rain on and off through the day uh, once again and then likely dry on uh, Friday. So here's Supercast showing the scattered showers and storms tonight and tomorrow. And then we turn much colder. Uh, this cold front swings through Thursday night into the early hours of Friday morning. It may even bring some light snow on Sunday and the accumulation is not likely, not, not at all, but uh, it'll be a much colder weekend. That cold front moves through on uh, Friday morning, dropping temperatures dramatically. We'll be in the mid 50s on Friday for highs, Saturday mid 40s for highs, Sunday temperatures only top out in the upper 30s to near 40 and Supercast is showing maybe some light snow mixed in with the rain. I don't expect to see any accumulations, so don't try to build a snowman with this. It will not work, uh, but it's the first chance.